Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I'm Melissa. And in today's video, I am showing you how I am getting my kitchen ready for summer. I'm taking some things that I've thrifted and using them as part of my decor, but I'm also doing some thrift flips. So make sure that you stay till the end of the video to see how everything turned out. This section of my kitchen has my kitchen aid stand and I just keep it out all year because it is too heavy to take in and out of a cabinet. But anyway, I want to spruce this up to make it look a little more summery. The first thing I'm gonna change out is this section. And I'm just going to replace the cookbook and the cookbook stand with a gorgeous plate that I found at Goodwill. And do I know how much I paid for it? This was $5, but isn't that beautiful? I've thrifted this a while back and I knew I wanted to use it in my kitchen. So I'm also going to use this plate stand. I'm going to use this little lemon tree and I found this at Target a few years back and the base of it was white or gray, I can't remember. And so I just painted it blue a few years back to match my kitchen. So I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna anchor it with this small little cutting board. All right. So there's that area. In this area, I'm gonna switch out quite a bit. I'm gonna take this down. And I'm going to do something here that I saw on my friend Lisa's channel. Her channel name is Uniquely Lisa. And what she did, she put, now she put a rolling pin and a hand crank mixer, which I've not been able to find yet. I'm determined to find one. But I'm gonna put that rolling pin in the mixer. I'm gonna still use the napkin or the dishcloth tea towel that I used on my cookbook. But to add some lemon flair to it and some summer flair, I'm gonna use this little tea towel that I got at Target this year, actually. And I'm just gonna add that to it. And there's that. I found this crock at the thrift store several months back. I think I paid a dollar for it. So I'm gonna use this here. I found this little I guess this is a salt grinder. Um, and I had this one from a long time ago that I thrifted, but it needed a partner. It's not exactly the same color, but I don't mind it, especially with the different tones on the utensils. So I'm gonna put that there. I thrifted this adorable little white strainer and I don't have a price on it, but I wanna say I paid maybe $2 for it. So I'm gonna set it here. And of course, I have to put some lemons. And I actually thrifted these. I thrifted a big bag of lemons and limes for, I wanna say maybe $2. So I'm just adding that there. I'm gonna keep my olive branch in there and I'm gonna set this little cutting board here 
And finally, I'm going to use this little blue and white pitcher that I thrifted from the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. And I paid probably a dollar for it because I got a bunch of these at one time. So I'm gonna put it here. And I have this little rolling pin that I got on clearance from Target, but it had it was like pink for Easter, so I just painted it white and I'm just gonna put that in there. And then this area is done. I have this little corner next to my fridge on my counter, and this is how it normally looks. I have that tall cutting board there, but I just want to make it a little summery. So most of this is gonna stay here. I'm just gonna add to it just to give it that summer vibe. The first thing I'm gonna do is change out this towel. And I'm gonna change it to this. I got this, I think, at Target several years ago. So I'm just gonna put it here. And I've gotten these cutting boards from, um, I think, both of them actually came from Target. I'm gonna set that back there. And then going with that lemon pattern, I'm just gonna add some lemons. These are fake lemons. I got these a few years back from Hobby Lobby. I have a book that I thrifted from, I think this one came from St. Vincent de Paul. I don't thrift books from Goodwill because they're too expensive. Um, so I got this one. Let's get that over a little bit. Then I got this. If you didn't see my latest thrift haul, I got this in that haul for $2. It still has the sticker on it for $2. I'm gonna set it here and I'm gonna use this candle, but I'm just gonna, these are actually little, um, little mini wreaths. I think they're probably ornaments because they've got the little hooks on them. But I put two of them together around this candle so I'm just gonna scoot that up and set those in there. I have my little olive branch that I like to use. And then I thrifted this really pretty bell. And I don't remember where I thrifted it from, but it is Royal Albert Bone China. I don't know if you can see that in there. From 1987 Royal Albert, but I just think that's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put that here. And then this area is done. Behind my stove typically always looks like this unless it's like fall or Christmas. This is how I normally have it, but I'm going to add a teapot that I thrifted and I'm thinking about putting, I thrifted this book, The Modern Encyclopedia of Cooking. And even though it's not blue, I just like the way it looks. And I'm gonna set the teapot on top of it. And that's the only addition I'm doing to this area. This is an area of my kitchen that when we first moved here, I put the toaster oven then I ended up putting some bamboo containers that I got from Costco, but I decided to open it up for decor because we really didn't use either. I mean, we used the toaster, but I put it in the cabinet, but I didn't really use the containers anymore. So I am going to make this a de decor area. And I found this cutting board at a, an estate sale 
And I got it for like a dollar because the bottom has that. But I am gonna sand this and then stain it and I'm gonna add some little legs so it's kind of like a riser. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this sanded. All right, I couldn't get all of the burn off of it, but this is gonna be the bottom anyway, so it's fine. But I wanted to put some little feet on this just to make it more of a riser, and I didn't have anything in my stash, and so I went to Dollar Tree. Couldn't really find what I was looking for, but I did find these wooden race car kits and they have wheels in them. There are four wheels in each one. So I think what I'm gonna do is stack two wheels next to each other. I'm gonna take two wheels, I'm gonna glue them together with wood glue, and once they are tight together, then I'm gonna put them on here to make the small little riser. Can you see that? To make the small little legs so that this will be more of a riser. And once I get this done, once I get all four sets done, then I'm going to set them down and put a book on top of them just to keep them together until the wood glue dries completely. Now that that has dried, I'm just gonna add glue to one side of each set and glue it down to the board for the feet. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to stain this. Normally my husband's the one, when we flip furniture, he's usually the one that does this. So this will be my first time, so fingers crossed. But I'm using Men Wax. It's the water-based stain and it is in the dark walnut. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna brush it on, wipe it off, and hope it turns out. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is terrible. I did a terrible staining job. I really need to practice more. I tried to sand some of the heavier uh, parts down, but yeah, that just didn't work out. So, I am gonna go to plan B, and that includes painting it with this um, Country Chic paint in Driftwood and then I'm gonna go over it with an antique wax. I want this, I don't want this to be white, but I also don't want it to be brown. So I feel like this is gonna be a good balance. This driftwood is a tan color, and then I'm gonna go over it with the antique wax, and I feel like that will be a good compromise. So let me get started painting over this mess. I like this country chic paint. It actually is, it's pretty thick, 
but it goes on really nicely and it levels out really good. I only had to do one coat on this and when it was dry, you really could not even see any brush strokes. So I'm using my little dryer to make it dry faster. And now I'm just going over it with the Waverly wax in the antique color. And once I get it on there, I take a shop cloth and I just wipe back the excess. And that is way simpler, at least for me, than staining. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. Now I'm just gonna let it dry overnight, but I can already tell that it really is going to be the look that I was going for. Now I have this piece of decor and I got it from Hobby Lobby. And I like it, but I don't want the buffalo check, the black and white buffalo check. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, take some painter's tape and tape around the edges and then I'm just gonna paint this blue. I've got it taped off, and the blue I'm using is the Waverly in the color Ocean, which is probably about the same color as that duct tape, but I'm just gonna use a small little brush. That way I can get as close to the edge as possible without hitting too much on the sides, but I'm not too worried about it because when it's standing up, you don't really, well, except on the bottom, you don't really see too much of that anyway, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a paint. This paint usually covers really well, but this is a very slick kind of paper, so it did take me two coats to get good coverage on this, and once I finished with the second coat, I just took that painter's tape off and this little flip was done. I am really happy with the way this came out. This looks stained like I wanted it to look without me doing a terrible job of staining. So I am gonna set this here and then I'm just gonna start putting stuff on it. This is the piece that I redid with the blue. This little blue vase is one that I thrifted. I don't have the price on it. I wanna say maybe $3. I just think it's so pretty. I was gonna put it in my booth, but I like it too much. And then I have this that I got from maybe Dollar Tree, and I just set that in there. So that's gonna go there. I'm gonna use another one of those really pretty yellow and blue books. Go. And then on top of the book, I'm gonna put these two brass candlesticks that I got from someone off of Facebook Marketplace, and that, is going to be it for this section. This is how I normally have this set up on my island, but I am going to change a few things around because I don't really want this on there anymore because I just don't think it looks good. So I am going to get this area cleaned up and move some things around and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to change it up just a little bit. The first thing that I'm gonna change is the holder for that candle. It is silver and I don't want it to be silver. So I am gonna take some of this kind of uh, rub and buff um, metallic luster, whatever you call it. And I'm just gonna cover it, I'm gonna cover this with the gold so it looks more brassy rather than silver. Ideally, I probably should have spray painted this before I put the gold luster on, 
but I was just trying to make it as simple as possible. There are a few spots on it that you can still see the silver, but I, my main goal was just getting it to be kind of brassy looking instead of silver. And you can see here the silver, but it also still is a little too gold. So I'm gonna go over it with this Waverly Antique Wax just to give it that more brassy look. And all I'm doing is just dabbing that wax on. And once I cover the whole um, container, then I will take a paper towel and just dab off the excess wax. The last thing for this area is this really pretty brass picture frame that I got from Goodwill for $2. And for the inside, I found this blue and white floral print from Google search. And I just printed it out and I'm gonna Mod Podge it to this. And I don't want it to be too stark white, so then I will add a little bit of antiquing wax over some clear wax just to kind of make it look not so stark white. The Mod Podge is completely dry and before I go over it to kind of dingy it up a little bit with the antique wax, I'm gonna put a clear wax on it and I'm using the Waverly Clear Wax and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to control the amount of antique wax that I get on here. So if I want more, I can add more, but the clear wax, if I get too much of the antique wax on the piece, I can go back with the clear wax and wipe some of it off. I am, while this clear wax is on here, I'm gonna go over it just a little bit, main, mainly around the edges, but then I may put a little bit light, light, light coat and wipe some away down in the middle. But I'm using the Waverly Antique Wax for that. I just have to say, I love my little Lazy Susan that I bought at the thrift store the other day. I got it for, I think it was $3, 3 or $4, and it has made crafting so much easier. I was in the thrift store today, again today, same thrift store. They had one almost just like this one for like $7, so I got a great deal. And now that I have the antique wax kind of in the area where I want it, now I'm just going to start kind of smearing it around the edges and toward the center just to give it that aged finish. All right, I have it pretty much the way I want it. I think it turned out good. Now I'm just going to put it back into the frame. And here is the frame with the picture in it. I absolutely love this. I think it turned out so pretty. So I am just gonna put this here and then this space is done. Or actually, you know what? I think I might like this better. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me as I get my kitchen ready for summer. You'll have to let me know in the comments what is your favorite thing that I did, whether it was a flip or just how I decorated something. I just love the blue and yellow together. I just think it's so summery and uplifting. But as for me, I think probably my favorite thing was that picture frame. 
that is just such an easy way to decorate your house for such a small amount of money. I mean, it was literally the cost of the frame. I already had the antique wax and you just print a picture off. I mean, it's that simple, but I think that's probably my favorite thing. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by. If you like this sort of thing, home decor, thrift hauls, some vendor booth content, I also do some cooking content, then I would love it if you would be a part of my YouTube family. Make sure you click the subscribe button and click that bell button so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I am getting so close to 5,000 subscribers. I just really can't believe I'm this close. I'm less than 300 away. So your subscription to my channel would help out a ton. Also, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below because your interaction really does help me out with this mysterious YouTube algorithm. But if you would like to see some more thrift flip videos or some home decor videos, then I will have those video boxes on the screen. You can click on those and it'll take you straight to those videos. But I will see you next time. Bye.